Welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 5 with Fireweaver and Small and Chewy. Uh, we're going to continue exploring some of the uh, other continents that we're not on. Uh, although, as you can see from the map, with me being with the orange here, I've taken over the last few turns, I've taken half of this continent, and Small and Chewy, who my co op partner here, has taken the other side. Yeah, I'm exploring a rather huge amount with my sight bonuses. I need some barbarian galleys. Seeing if I can convert them. Oh, excellent. So, uh, unfortunately, this is what happens with Civ 5 quite a lot, is uh, when you get into late exploration and you hit next turn, it just takes a long time to think and uh, unfortunately each uh, break in between turns you have to just sit and wait a little while uh, there's a lot of troops that are being moved around by AI but yeah as long as you don't mind waiting that's actually fine uh, these new caravel I'm just going to automate again if it's oh, still thinking about it <laughs> Um, right, let's choose our production. Oh wow, two na uh, Great Barrier Reef. It says two natural wonders. But apparently we've still got two natural wonders to find. So, that's pretty good. Oh, look, who's got that? Oh, you found uh, Ramkam Hayeng, the Siam Civilization, which picked up the Great Barrier Reef. Weef? Weef! Great Barrier Weef! Gotta catch that Darth Lee Wabbit. Um, yeah, <laughs> the Great Barrier Reef. Oh, and look, and you found the Barringer Crater, which I th believe is now all of the natural wonders we've found. No more left. Um, anyway, uh, back to producing. And uh, the Forbidden Palace, I've got lots of. fix our happiness problems. <laughs> yeah. Well, not quite for me. I'm still minus three, but uh, yeah. In fact, whilst I'm here, I'm going to go to my diplomacy overview and go to my deal history. And I've currently got deals with everybody. Yeah, they just haven't run out yet. I think. Oh yeah, no, this this still active for a bit longer. Uh, but my unhappiness should uh, get very much under control when I finish building this particular wonder here, the Forbidden Palace. It uh, reduces my unhappiness, total unhappiness, by 25%. Considering I've got 90, that's going to be uh, an equivalent of around 20-ish happiness. So you can see that's going to be a massive boost when I finish that. Uh, hitting next turn again. Again, it's a big wait, so. I guess we should begin to explain some stuff that we're thinking of doing. Um, yes, indeed. Oh, I mean, right now I just plan on pushing our ex exploration. Uh, oh, wow, lots of demands for spices and sugar, but I can't give these guys any sugar. Um, yeah, I'm going to uh, think about... Um, Sugar, spice, and everything nice. <laughs> That's women, isn't it? No, it's to make the perfect little girls. Oh, okay. Excellent. <laughs> uh, lots of the stuff, machinery, spices. Okay. Um, so, yeah, as I was saying, I'm just at the moment focusing on exploration. Um, cool. And uh, then I'm going to uh, think about attacking Germany. I was hoping they would attack me first, but uh, that's not happening. Um, I'll attack Germany, take out the Germans, march on Berlin. That's always fun. And uh, then think about what we can do to conquer the other country. At least that's my plans. So I'm going for a conquering victory. What you might want to do first is upgrade all of your units before you attack. Oh yeah, I'm not doing it now. My f my 
priority right now is exploration and just uh, settling in. Uh, I don't think we're in any massive rush. And I will construct a road here. Uh, these workers. What to do with my workers? Um, not too much at the moment. Okay. I hate doing it, but automate that worker. It's probably going to rip up half my stuff, but never mind. Rip it up. You can set it so that they don't change improvements that have already been made. I think that's set by default nowadays, isn't it? We'll go to options and go to game options. It should okay. be there. It says it has two things that you could s enable. Oh, okay. Um, I'll do both. And accept. There we go. Returns again. Okay, let's stop them messing around with my stuff. It's the last thing I need. Them ripping up all the hard work I've put in already. Oh, excellent. I've uh, just gained a new unit from Dublin. So, I'll... Uh, they'll give me crossbowmen. Excellent. Very happy with crossbowmen. They're really strong. And come on, game. Uh, I think it's down to all the exploration because uh, it takes ages whenever we've we've got all the automated exploration going out. But excellent, I've got uh, these crossbowmen, which I will move probably onto this hill. Not the best place for them, but lack of anything else. Um, I'm going to set some automating going on. Right, next turn. Okay, and again, a long wait. Uh, what are your plans for the future of your Civ? Currently exploration, I've always been kind of a person that likes getting buildings when I'm not at war and not near anybody. Oh, okay, well you've only got five, f four cities? Four cities, maybe five. 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 Yeah. I know you're keeping up in points with me despite my nine points. I think that's mostly because of the amount of wonders you have. Okay, new city-state, that's good. Barbarian encampments, I don't really care about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Usual stuff. I also got a unit from uh, Dublin, although it's uh, another horseman. I'm actually thinking of just deleting these horsemen. Well, considering we're probably attacking Why Germany reasonably soon. They're going to get annihilated though, because they're kind of low tier. No way to upgrade them unless I gift them to you and you upgrade them. Um, I guess we could do that. Which I guess you would... Yeah, well, I guess you would get your tech unit, whereas I would get a regular knight. Although, uh, you could hold off a little bit longer and wait till we research um, into cavalry. Alright. But, yeah, either way. Got me a great merchant. Oh, excellent. Uh, as I say, you've got two choices. If you're in a rush for cash, then send them off somewhere and uh, get the hit of cash. If you're not in a rush and you've got a free land space, 
um, then you can use use it um, to build a, a council somewhere. Uh, I see outside Istanbul you've got a square which is unworked. Um, that could be a good spot. It's only some general planes. You could put a council there and just uh, use it to hook up a crap load of gold. Yeah, I could. Okay, and uh, yeah, just waiting for the computer to do their turn. Okay, to make those. Ah, wants me to choose production in Rome. Hmm, it seems to just like freeze up after. Um, it's because when we. I guess thinking. Uh, no, it's uh, after the enemy turn. It then has our, all our, all our automated turns, and with your workers and the automated exploration that's going out, um, that's what's causing that. Um, okay, this is quite a hefty cost of the national treasury, but the gold plus eight is really strong. I think I may go for that. So I'll pick up a national treasury. It's better to do it now than later. Okay. And I'll set for a next turn again. Oh, excellent. My unit must have beaten yours out to... Uh, the ruins because I've just been equipped with advanced weapons found in the ruins. Damn you, Scout. You disappoint me. <laughs> uh, okay, well let's uh, zoom over to the location and take a look in a second. Once the computer stopped thinking. Come on, game. Game? Oh, this would be so crazy with eight people. Yeah, so uh, here I've uh, now picked up cavalry. Which is brilliant, because I don't think we've even discovered the tech for cavalry, have we? Because I had, I moved my special unit into the, right into the ruins. Yeah. So they're really strong. So they're strength 25. I mean, they on their own could start smashing their way through most sieves, which is pretty nice. Um, is that some more ruins? Yep. Okay, so I will... With those cavalry selected, I'm going to head for these ruins down here. Ah, this caravel wants some orders. So, range attack and I'll take out these archers and I'll move oh oh yeah anyway first of all he wants me to adopt a policy so let's uh, do that I could finish off liberty um, each city I find will increase the culture and the cost of policies reduced by 30% less than normal also starts a golden age you know what that's pretty much bang on I will do that Lovely, a new golden age has dawned and I've finished a whole part of the culture policy area. Hiawatha is kind of disappointing. He hasn't gotten ancient ruins in his own continent. <laughs> I'm going to fortify those crossbowmen on the hill. And I've hit next turn. Let's 
Tralala. There we go. I'll uh, take a look. Our oh, new trade route established. I assume that was with Rome. Uh, Rome and yeah, and get out. That's been established. And Rome wants sugar, uh, which I thought I just gave it. But never mind. And I'll attack. Like so. And carry on bombarding. That's fine. Next I'm gonna time. make me a Circus Maximus. Which sounds kinda silly. <laughs> sounds like a scientific name for a circus that's maxed. Um I I could be completely wrong, but I believe Circus Maximus is a Roman thing that is basically a big arena uh, for gladiatorial fights. But I could be completely way off the mark. I'm just trying to remember stuff off the top of my head. I'm sure someone will point out to me how wrong I am. That's always something to look forward to in the comments. <laughs> Hey bro, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> ah, excellent. We've discovered the printing press. And I've actually uh, set my things straight out to economics. Because I wanted that a while back. Okay, game, I want to water units. There we go. And continue there. Brilliant. Uh, right, production in Gen 8. Um, oh, interesting. I think I'll uh, pick up a university. Or the Taj Mahal. For a free golden age. 39 turns is a lot of turns though. You know what? I'm just going to... Uh, it's look like both Hiawatha and Ramkin are on their own continents. This was a rather odd map. Usually it's two continents. And so we got one giant continent and a bunch of small ones. Yep, I'm picking up a university in Gen A. Just, uh, that'll be good for that. Uh, discovered printing press which we did, yeah, and next turn I've got no other things to do here. Oh woo, I got a crudely drawn map. <laughs> We've almost discovered everything in exploration, but... Yep. Yeah, we'll uh, allow for this to finish, I guess. Okay, I was just taking a look around, but... Um, Gal can only work, up, work on the Forbidden Palace, the Lost... Uh, Bismarck made it first. They've been making a good chunk of wonders. God damn you, Germany! That would have been awesome for me. Alright, oh well. Not much I can do about that. So how come you were capturing galleys? How were you doing that? Just uh, attacking them and killing them? Or just moving into their spot? Mm, I'm going to have to go to my... Uh, I mean, can't remember, but I it's what he does. Oh, okay. Please. It might be when I attack them, or it might be when I just get close to them. Fair enough. Um, I'm just going to finish this uh, turn out, and then uh, I think we'll finish up. But uh, Taj Mahal and Gao, let's do that. And damn you, Germany! Okay, well, uh, yeah, I finished my turn. Are you finishing up yours? 
I guess we can click next. Um, okay, well, uh, on the next episode, um, our expl uh, exploration is going quite well. So in the next episode, there's a fair chance that I might attack Germany. Um, but uh, come back and you'll see what happens.